Brian Concanon is a human rights lawyer and executive director at the Institute for Justice and Democracy in Haiti. Brian, thank you very much for joining us. Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, how much uh, cleaning up does Oxfam have to do internally to, to make things right here? Obviously, quite a bit. Almost every day for the last week, there's been more damning news. But it's important to remember that Oxfam is at most the tip of the iceberg. Um, and the real, the big iceberg is, is massive systematic accountability, uh, lack of accountability by humanitarian actors. And sexual abuse is, and, and, and exploitation is one part of that. You have that, it's pervasive in NGOs, it's pervasive in UN peacekeeping, it's pervasive in missionaries. You also have much, many other accountability crises from how organizations spend money that they're given to uh, governments and international financial institutions interfering with, with, with uh, government policies to, in a case that we're working on, uh, the UN killing 10,000 people by introducing cholera and not accepting responsibility for that. Uh, how do you think Oxfam has handled this so far? I think they've taken many great steps since the latest news came out. Obviously, from the time they knew of the allegations until until uh, a week and a half ago, they, they handled it very poorly. It looks like they're doing a much better job. The, the fact that they released the report, they appear to be transparent, they appear to be to be making some, some important commitments. Those are all very good initial steps in the right direction. But that's obviously not anywhere near where Oxfam needs to be or it many of the other NGOs that have the same problems. What they need to do is establish an accountability system. And for me, the, 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 the hallmark of a viable accountability system is giving victims and people on the ground the ability to file complaints and to assert their rights. Uh, among uh, NGOs, how, mu how much of a problem is this? Uh, you know, no one knows for sure, but there have been some studies. A study just came out by Save the Children uh, in Haiti, and they, in a, in a kind of a quick investigation, they found that 23 different NGOs, this was after the earthquake, uh, a little bit before the Oxfam um, exploitation happened, but they, they found 23 organizations uh, had a sexual exploitation problem. Um, none of this would be a surprise to Haitians. Haitians perceive that this is pervasive, that any time you have humanitarian actors, you have sexual exploitation and other lack of accountability. Uh, this is not a, it's not a secret. It's not a secret within the aid community. It's not a secret within people who look at the aid community. Uh, they have apologized uh, to the Haitian government, but um, what, what does this mean in terms of Oxfam's presence in that country? Uh, that's still to be defined. The the the, uh, the president and some ministers have made have made some some threats that if Oxfam does not respond correctly, that Oxfam will be not allowed to work in Haiti, and have talked about broader investigations, which I think is is a good sign. Uh, the problem is is that, and from the government's perspective and the Haitian people's perspective, Oxfam has been doing very important work. Other humanitarian actors have been doing very important work, and one of the concerns is if there is if there is um, a lack of funding to the humanitarian sector the main sufferers from that are going to be people in Haiti and other vulnerable countries and so what needs to happen is uh, humanitarian work needs to be made accountable but it also need it needs to continue and I think that uh, there that you don't need to make a choice I think that both are possible you can be accountable and effective from the Institute for uh, Justice and Democracy in Haiti, Brian Concanon. Brian, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much for covering this.